Crayfish? Crawfish. Crawdads. Mud bugs. Whatever they are, they sure do taste good. But how are you supposed to eat them? And where can you go to get the best crawfish around? Keep watching to find out. In case you're not aware, crawfish are those tasty little critters that look like miniature lobsters. While they are indeed related to lobsters, their taste is more of a mashup of lobster, crab, and shrimp. Crawfish have less of a salty bite to them, too, which makes sense given that most species live in fresh water. More than 500 species of crawfish make their homes in lakes, rivers, and swamps, although a few of them are saltwater creatures, and some are bigger than others. They range in color from yellow to dark brown, though when you find them on the menu, they're probably white river or red swamp crayfish. Combined, these two crawfish types make up almost the entire commercial harvest in Louisiana, meaning you'll probably eat quite a few of them on your next New Orleans trip. Crawfish Amandine, crawfish étouffée, boiled crawfish, Cajun crawfish. How did crawfish get so many names? Well, what you call this crustacean depends largely on your location. While people from the northern U.S. tend to say crayfish, you'll hear Louisianans say crawfish. People out west and around Oklahoma call them crawdads, while mud bugs is the preferred term in the Mississippi Delta. Crawfish are enjoyed in a variety of ways around the world. For example, the traditional Louisiana crawfish boil involves boiling andouille sausage, potatoes, onions, corn, and crawfish in the same pot. Surprisingly enough, though, 90% of all the world's crawfish consumption happens in China, as dining on crawfish is a summertime social occasion in the country. Here, chefs typically stir-fry their crawfish and spice them in a variety of ways, using garlic, salted egg yolk, or a mix called 13 spices that includes star anise, cinnamon, bay leaves, and cardamom. Swedes throw colorful outdoor crawfish parties in August, too. Crawfish in Sweden are cooked in brine with a lot of dill and eaten cold. Swedes also pair their crawfish with a strong cheese and wash them down with a beer or schnapps. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, crawfish are used as a spice. They're baked in a hot oven until dry but not charred, then ground into a powder and used as a seasoning. The primary meat in crawfish is in the tail, though on larger creatures you can also eat the claws. To get to the meat of the matter, you'll want to grab the creature at the head and the thickest part of the tail, and twist. Once the head and tail are separated, peel away a couple of the rings on the tail to expose the meat. Then pull the hunk of tail meat out, or save a step and suck the meat straight out of the tail. Once you have the method down, it'll all be quick and easy. Like chicken bones, leftover heads and tail shells can be used to make a flavorful stock. After the pieces are rinsed to remove the seasonings used in the boil, you can also use your leftovers to make a tasty crawfish butter because many of the crustacean's flavors are fat-soluble, not water-soluble. Now that you know how to eat crawfish, you should also know that you can enjoy them anywhere in the U.S., no matter how far you live from the nearest crawdad hole. If you happen to have some of the critters in your neighborhood stream or ditch, you could pick up your own crawfish nets and get fishing. If that doesn't float your boat, though, the site We Love Crawfish recommends a number of seasoned crawfish sellers out of Louisiana, including Louisiana Crawfish Company, which touts itself as the number one shipper of crawfish out of the Pelican State. The company will even fly live crawfish to most states in the U.S. Just remember that crawfish need to be alive when they are put on boil. So cooking these critters is not for the faint of heart. And while they can be kept on ice until dinner time, for the best flavor, you'll want to cook them the minute they arrive at your door. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!